Now in Australian financial services market is awash with amalgamations. We've seen AMP successfully grab AXA. Um, we've seen prior that Westpac Group grabbing St George, and we're yet to see more amalgamations coming forward. Make no mistake, the industry is going for scale. We'll see some amalgamations of industry supergroups as well as they try and get greater and greater scale, greater and greater buying power, greater and greater leverage as they all fight the game of competitive pricing. What's the effect for most consumers? Initially, confusing. What's the effect for most advisors? Also, similarly confusing. As they play the scale game, it's inevitably going to go to two or three giants and then some minor parties who'll hold some speciality in certain areas. And so we'll have a, have a similar feel to it. But just like in retailing where there's Coles and Woolies, just like in aircraft industry with Boeing and Airbus, just like in telecommunications with Vodafone, Optus and Telstra, there'll only be two or three majors at the end of the day who will, who will control most of the platforms, most of the products, most of the services, most of the manufacturing. Therefore, it's going to be this ancillary industry that sits on top of these three or four majors that will try and leverage the products and services and, and offerings from the majors and differentiate. And that's the industry we're heading for. So someone proclaiming to be independent will still source most of their hardware from one of the two of these three majors. The, what will the market look like moving forward? Some things will be absolutely sim similar today. People will still want a trusted relationship with someone who can relate to their issues, understand the complexities and deliver greater certainty. Regardless of where the products come from, and we do need good product providers. We do need Boeing and Airbus to make the safest, most competitive, most cost efficient aircraft. But people aren't going on holidays knowing what, is, it an air, is it an Airbus or is it a Boeing. I just expect those things to work. Just like people don't expect their engines anymore in their service stations and their own vehicles, they just expect them to work. So we'll have these majors that will just produce manufactured goods that will expect it to work, but they will not control the advice industry. There'll be a smaller group of dedicated people focusing on delivering one thing, greater certainty to their clients, regardless of the products and the fit for them. If you'd like more information on the evolving advice industry, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button above. Or alternatively, if you want a lot more information on articles and blogs that I regularly post, go across to jimstackpool.com. I look forward to seeing you there.